Hi, hello. Okay, I'm Tatiana. Okay, and I'm here today to share some ideas on like, having fun lessons for young learners. Okay, on behalf of Express Publishing, I'd like to thank you all for joining me. I'll try to share some ideas, okay, with you. Um, taking into consideration that I have been online or in on site for more than a year now, right? And our students, everything that was new for young learners that they were enchanted last year, they seem to be a little tired this year, you know, like they want to go back to on site and most of them are not, you know, like uh, able to yet right so uh when preparing this presentation i selected some activities that i believe that you may use in your online lessons as well as on your on-site lessons right so i'll be sharing you know, like ideas related to you know like um practical things that you can adapt for you know like all realities i'm gonna talk i'm gonna be talking about young learners i will focus here from six to ten but the activities are you know like uh you may adapt them for you no know, like even younger ones uh okay or like old ones okay it's up to you so uh i'm gonna start sharing here some ideas so one of the things that i consider you know, like the most important now is like taking you know, like this virtual environment to real life, okay? Um, it seems that they are tired of, you know, like just having this screen, okay? Uh, getting them apart from you know, like the others and from the teachers. So like the more you bring, you know, like real life, make them do you know, like uh, things that they like to do in their like day by day life when they're not at school and bring it to okay your lessons the better right so here it brought like some examples of things that we can um try to you know like um do you know like to make you know like our course material more like real and interesting and fun for all of them right so um here you know, like i got an example from i wonder too and all the the examples i'm gonna bring you you know like will be related to this series here in which they uh study you know like um the tastes you know like it's bitter it's sweet salt okay so uh instead of just you know like playing you know like on the book online trying to guess you know um what the taste is like or how it would be like to mix lemon and uh, sugar lemon and salt you know like ask them you know like to get some ingredients here you know like i asked them to to take a lime to class and then some sugar some salt some oil some vinegar you know and then they mixed you know like how does it taste to mix you know, like lemon and sugar okay how does it taste to mix you know like lemon and salt okay do you like it what is the taste like so bring these real things okay even if you you were not with them okay uh even if you are not like separate by a screen you know you can ask them to do those things at home if you are like on site if you're back to school you can take the ingredients you know like as well and make them try all those things right um in this uh series you know like they have you no know, like projects as we have in most of the series that we use okay in which they have to do things you know like in order to apply all the contents they explore you know like along the unit okay so uh here they were working on the same unit you know like the same book working on food and tastes and shapes and you know, like uh ingredients to prepare other food so they had to prepare like some like a taste of food, you know, like crazy food. So ask them to do a real one, take a photo, okay? Or take the ingredients to class and 
let them play with that. Okay, can you make a face out of it? Can you make a car out of it? Can you make an animal out of it? You know, like let them play, let them connect the content that you're focusing now to the content they have previously worked on. Okay, and then while they are doing it, you'll be able to assess them. Okay, it's like they're doing the real thing and they're going to use their English, you know, like freely. Yeah. Oh, I want to make a car. Okay. What about my face? Check, you know, like what ca can they do with the language? You know, have, uh, are they using you know, like the things that they have explored, you know, like along the unit? Do I need to review contents? This is an excellent moment for assessing. Okay. Uh, Try to, you know, like, create moments, okay, for them to use their imagination, okay? On uh, this unit here, they are working on camping. This is, you know, like, uh, the topic of the unit. And they learn lots of activities, what is safe, what is not safe, uh, activities you do while camping, what do you need, okay? What materials do you need to camp, okay? Uh, what... You know, they they are working on like simple present okay yeah they are doing these they are doing that right so why not okay taking them to a campsite okay so during this pandemic you know like it was not possible to take them you know like so um we created like a virtual campaign so they had to take a rucksack, sunglasses, hat, you know, like a compass, map, uh, screen, sunscreen. We made a list of things that uh, are require, required when you go camping. And they had to prepare those lists. Okay, here you, you see like one of them has a tent at home, you know, like so they put up the tent, okay, a sleeping bag. Okay, and we had a virtual camping right and we had many games okay in relation to it we had like scavenger hunt like uh the wheel the, the wheel of names here that they would have to show okay what is there okay you see here i don't know if you can see my pointer but i think so okay you see here like this screen uh it is like uh, a wheel you know like uh, a spin wheel that was then at a uh, word wall most of you know word wall you know like it's one of the tools that we have used the most okay along the pandemics so here we created like um a spin wheel of uh camping vocab and they had to you know like show that or make a sentence using that, if they are using that at the moment or not, okay? Put on them the most things they could related. They had raincoats, hats. You can see here one of the students, like sunglasses, like many things, you know, like related to camping. And it was like, we spent the night, we watched, you know, like um, a cartoon that they liked, okay? We made a virtual bonfire. So like, we try to recreate this camping environment that is not possible now in a virtual environment okay and it was like really fun they liked it very much here you know in one of the projects okay I i'm bringing here examples you see students there because i'm also a teacher and i use this collection this is why i base it all the examples on it okay and uh i'm pretty sure that you also have like projects to go and if you don't have any your course books you know like you can create because it's an excellent moment you know like to make them use everything they have worked on right and um also you know, like it's a very nice moment for teachers you know like to assess what they can do with language and things right but on course books and you know, like most of the projects are related to ah create a poster about it create a presentation not like a real life project so like i'm trying to give you some ideas on how to you know like bring this real thing the meaningful thing you know like to the book right 
And here, you know, like they were studying like um, I can and I could, right? Um, it's I'm growing up, the topic. So they had to create a poster. They could draw, okay? Like this is what the book brought, okay? That they could draw, you know, like or use photographs to create a poster talking about how the you're growing, you know, like I'm growing up. So things they used to do when they were babies or they used to have and things they, they can do now, okay? And things that they have now. Instead of creating a poster, you know, like uh, I propose in here that they collected baby things at home, okay? They're on baby things, right? So uh, do you have any clothes of uh, we went back to when you were a kid, a baby, you know, like, do you have diapers? Do you have, like, some shoes or socks? So they brought things, you know, like, that uh, they used to wear or they used to play with when they were kids. And we created this box here. You have, like, a small picture, okay, here, of I'm growing and changing, right? So they created here, you know, like they described, there is a lot of, things. this is my baby flip flop. This is my baby diapers. So they described and labeled things. Okay. And we also create like a QR code. I don't know if you have ever created QR codes. It's really easy. Okay. I'm not going to show you here, but, um, if you need any help, I'm going to give you my email uh, at the end of this presentation, and then you can ask me, right? Um, it's just to type on Google, you know, like uh, QR code generator.com. And it's really easy. I may help you with this if you need, okay? So what I do here, they just labeled. So they are working on writing, okay? And these kids, the focus here was not writing. It was speaking. So how could I connect? Okay, this real thing, okay, to communication, to, you know, like speaking. What I did, I made them, okay, show, okay, their things, and we recorded it, and we created a QR code. On the QR code, we link it, okay, to the video that was, like, in Google Drive, and then we pasted the, the QR code outside the box. So if you want to listen or to watch what the kid is saying, okay, it's possible. And it's really nice because then families that are not there at school, this moment is a moment that you are like really close because we are, you know, like online and you're participating, you know, like uh, to, to the classes. But uh, on the other hand, the ones that are on site, you know, the kids that had gone back to school, the parents are really apart because they cannot even enter the school. Okay, like years ago, we wouldn't have you know, like them having and would have like show and tell presentations. We wouldn't have families at home. Parents would be walking around, okay, and checking the walls for displays and posters. That is not possible now. So like... Creating QR codes may help you a lot, okay, with this. I haven't, you know, like, added here any of the presentations because of copyright, okay. Uh, I, I cannot just let it go, okay. So this is why we don't have it here, okay. But if you need any help, you know, like, just contact me and then I can, I can help you later. And what about the kids that can't read? Okay, or use, uh, uh, they can't read, they had to use virtual resources. Okay. I love working on augmented reality. Um, there are lots of, lots of, hundreds of, okay, uh, applications or, you know, like sites that work on these that we can use for pedagogical use. I use a lot this quiver. Okay. I use the the blue butterfly, because this one is for free, okay? This quiver fashion and uh, quiver education and quiver masks, some of them are for free and some are not, okay? What is it like? They have lots of handouts, okay? So you um, enter that the site, okay, quiver.com, I put it here, right? You enter the site, and then you print what you want. It only works with the handouts, okay, provided by them. So here, for example, 
there is a penguin. Can you see the, the picture of the penguin, right? This is the handout. So you print the handout and you color it the way you want, okay? What is interesting about it, okay? When you point, okay, and then you download the app, the Quiver app. When you point your, your phone, your mobile, okay, to the handout, okay, the character or you know, like the object that you created there will come to real life exactly as you did. So if you look at this example here, you know, like we, cord, we color it here like uh, green and it's green. We color it here, you know, like red and it's red, okay? We color, so can you compare, you know, like the augmented reality character to the drawing, to the coloring? In fact, it's the same, right? So you have exactly what you have created. So if you look here, you know, like this kid, wrote i love english and then on the penguin t-shirt the real one okay the real you know like commented one not the real one um it is uh pink as well and it's written i love english okay and all of them they do something okay so uh the penguin like plays ice hockey you know uh the the lamp uh plays soccer okay you have these that is the map Okay, and then when you color and you point it here, okay, it turns your map into a globe exactly like you colored it. So I use it a lot when we are working on nationalities, okay, that they put now like the name of the country and then the nationality, okay. And also when I'm talking uh, about animals and uh, where they live, they live in savannas, okay, you, you know, like you find them in like Madagascar. So like they draw and they write it, okay, if they are able to write on the map. So when it comes to the real, okay, globe, it will be exactly like it, like uh, you colored, okay? It's very interesting. And the good thing about it is that you are allowed to record videos. So what you can do, you know, like you can ask your students, you know, to record videos explaining, for example, nationalities, okay? Oh, here it's, it's Canada, okay? If you're born here, you're Canadian. And then, you know, like it rolls around and movies, okay? If we go oh, here, it's Japan, okay? And if you're born in Japan, you're Japanese. It's really nice. And it's for free, yes. The, the blue butterfly, the, the quiver version is for free, okay? Uh, the quiver education, quiver fashion, and quiver masks, because you have like just for masks, and then it's you are walking, okay, and then with like a lamp uh, face, for example, a, a lamp hat, okay. Um, there, you know, like the other three, some are for free and some are not, okay. If you teach, for example, at a bilingual school, uh, and you teach contents to kids, you have like how like a volcano works. So the kids, you know, like when they, they can erupt the volcano, that they have games to play, they can name the parts of the volcano. If you're teaching them about, you know, like parts of a plant, you have there the plant and its parts, okay? The cells, it's really interesting. They have lots of uh, ready to use handouts. But again, just to remind you, it only works, okay? with uh, the handout that they provide. So you will have to print first from their site and then use um, in your uh, cell phone, okay? Like according to what you have colored. Also about augmented reality, okay? This collection here, okay, comes with like an uh, application that is called I Wonder AR. Okay, that is like, um, it, it is like, it's a robot, okay, it's Rolo, Rolo, you know, like, is the character of the collection, and you can take photos with Rolo, you can change color, uh, Rolo's color, you can add, you can give Rolo a hat, for example, okay, and many other things. You can play with Rolo, you can dance with Rolo, you can put a, a Rolo to, uh, to sleep, okay? And there are many things, they love doing it, right? Um, 
someone is asking here, you know, about the other one, if you can, if you have to, if you need, you know, like a regular printer, yes, regular printer, you don't need any, you know, like other kind, it's the one that you have at home, right? So back here, uh, if you use the collection, what is interesting, it's that you just you know, like open the book, and then you point your mobile, you open the app, and then you point the mobile to the book, and the book reads for kids the contents. Can you see? This is a photo in my class, right? They were working on numbers, right? And here, Rolo is teaching the kids the numbers. So those ki kids that are not able to read, okay, it helps a lot okay and also those things you know, like when you were working like in class they are great okay and then you send some homework okay and then they go home and say i don't know i don't remember how to say that right i i wanna i don't remember help me and then rollo may help them Okay. And also, in all the stories, because you have one story for each lesson, okay, and also uh, two songs for each lesson, they turn uh, Rolo or the app, okay, turns all the stories when you point your mobile to the story, it turns it into a cartoon. And when you point your mobile to a song, it turns it into a video clip. Okay, animated video clip. So it works really well. But if you don't work with the collection, you can you still have lots of fun with Rollo. Okay, because you don't need the book to work on. Okay, the book is a plus. Okay, it's something else. Okay, that helps kids that use the collection. And I, I love augmented reality, and I think it's something that we can, like, add lots of fun, okay, to classes. You know that Google, you know, like, has, um, I think, a little bit more than a year ago, has added some, you know, like, uh, AR animals, you know. So if you, like, search on Google, you know, like, lion, and then you're going to have, like, a AR version, you click there, the lion comes, you know, like, to your you know, like space where you are okay at the moment so uh you can do lots of fun things in class with them okay with line especially when you are you know, like working on uh, animals okay you also have this app that is called just a line i don't know if you if you are familiar with it okay um you open the app and then you start recording okay a scene and you draw okay thanks here there is an example that like the uh drew some rain okay and then the rain comes in augmented reality while you were filming so the film comes with this weather forecast so you can work on like with with everything okay means of transportation for example they can draw you know like uh planes flying around okay making crazy combinations if you're working on weather if you're working on seasons you can take the snow okay and then change into you know like a summer there are lots of uh interesting possibilities there um here we have another one that is called paper cubes for that you also need to download the cubes okay the paper cubes okay and print them okay through their site and then you know like you just you know like fold the cube okay assemble it and each cube has a different function so you start here and then if you print these when you point lots of people will come out of this cube right and they will start walking and then if you put jump here you can see you now like you have the jump version okay they will jump this cube if you put the turn cube okay there they will turn okay when they come to that cube so there are lots of possibilities and it's very nice to work on commands on directions okay and then one can teach the other or okay they can tell you know like oh now jump so they have to put jump and then the people there will jump over the cube right and they are all free 
um, reinforce okay, uh, contents through games. I'm not going to talk a, a lot about it because I'm pretty sure, you know, like you all know as if you don't, okay, you should. Uh, this is one of the, the tools, you know, like the sites that have, you no know, like been, you know, like very helpful for teachers, okay, during this, you know, like online time, okay. Uh, their collection of activities, you can sign up for free and then you can create up to five games, okay? More than this, you have to pay for that. But you don't need to pay for that because you can go to the community and select a ready-to-use game and you can edit that game to play. The only thing is that it's not going to save it forever, right? So if you have like 10 groups and you want to use it, okay, you have to let it open in your computer or when you can do it again, you'll have to edit everything again, okay? It will not save your editing, okay? It will keep to the original one. But then you can play like in different times, uh, in different uh, ways, okay? Uh, you have like quizzes, you have uh, anagrams, have like balloon games, and you know? all. There are lots of different kinds of games, and you can choose one from the community, and then you can edit the way you want to play it. Oh, I want it to be a spin wheel. I want it to be a quiz. Okay, then you click there, and then your students will play like this. Okay, most of them they have like a rank. Okay, and Students love, you know, like to do it again and again and again to get a, a better position at the ranking. Okay, so it works really fine for reinforcement. Um, when we work on course books, it's very important, you know, like that you adapt things. Okay, even if the workbook's like really nice, that has like lots of things, it's important that you consider your students' interests, okay? So here they were, you know, like uh, asking students to write about their favorite book, but I knew my students would love to create a character, okay? So instead of writing about their favorite book's character, I asked them to create their own, okay? with the powers that they wanted them to have, okay, physical description that they wanted them to have, okay, uh, characteristics and all over. So that they get more into it. And then you hook your students, oh, I really want to create something about this or that, okay? And then they have to present it. So it's a process writing because of the age, okay? And you know that process writing is like, is very important. So First, you know, like the book gives you like all the models. They had to you know like create a, like uh, not create, you know, like I adapt to creation, but like uh, write the name of the character, write the physical characteristics, okay, personality, and then we do the same. You follow the same steps, okay, but they are creating their own. Is scavenger hunts, okay, what I feel now, like after this time, you know, like almost a, a year and a half, right, online, uh, I feel my students are a little tired, okay, the young ones, of being in front of the screen. So I have tried to bring more and more movement, more and more real things, okay, to our online lessons you know and the scavenger hunts are really fun we have been doing it for a while you know so um we have done like the real ones like here they are working on clothes okay like okay so go and find a piece of your uniform go and find pajamas go and find okay so they have to go okay and then sometimes they have to dress up and not only clothes anything okay that you need and also here, you no, know, like you can project some things and they were working on clothes, right? So there is this like this kind of image where you have like lots of things happening at the same time. And then you can, if you use Zoom, for example, you can ask them to annotate, okay? And um, I'm not familiar, very familiar with the other, you know, like uh, platforms, but I know that most of them, you know, like they can uh, uh, interact with you here, right? So, um, here, you know, uh, I would ask, you know, like, oh, can you find someone wearing a black t-shirt? 
Can you find someone wearing blue t-shirts, okay? Or something like this. Lots of TPR, okay? Total physical response, activities in which, you know, like students have to respond physically to what you're asking, like, oh, touch your head, okay? Touch your eyes, make a face, okay? Show me, you know, like a, a happy face or something like this. So they have to move, you know, like stand up, sit down, okay? These kind of activity that make, that, uh, makes them you know like move and engage because we know that young learners they engage through their whole body you know so they have to be you know like doing things you know like entirely to get involved so use lots of tpr um another um platform that i have used a lot is match the memory okay it's for creating memory games so here they are working on senses right i can see with my eyes i can hear with my ears okay so uh during the class we had a tpr activity you know like ah show me your thumb ah, show me your ears okay and then they were like showing pointing and i while we were doing this you know like tpr i was print screening my my screen right and saving the pictures and here i created with my own pictures because of you know like copyright but then you know like you can create here you see it's me you know like i created you know like mm, me you know like showing the parts of my body and then the verbs that they were you know like uh, using you know like to describe the sense and then they play you know like they have you no know, like to click like ah one b you know and then they click one b and to see oh yes i can see with my eyes i cannot see with my ears i cannot see with my so they're gonna use like i can i can't the verbs okay and having fun making them you know like using the content they are learning you know like to produce things you know like what is like the, the one of the most important things here you know like is and i think it's one of our biggest challenge you know like on online lessons is like making kids active during the process okay not only in front of the screen like you are now okay just like watching and watching and then someone is talking and talking okay make them act that they make them you know like the, the center part of uh the lesson, okay, make them produce things, okay. So here we had an a, like online dictation on parts of the body, okay. They were working on you know, like uh, curly hair, straight hair, the colors, the eyes, and you know, all like ponytails, mustache, those things. So like um, on annotate on Zoom or like on any you know like whiteboard that you have online you can draw some circles and address one for each child and then you're gonna dictate okay oh like oh my character has like long curly uh hair okay or like uh, uh red curly hair okay and then um you're gonna draw that okay i my character wears glasses it has a mustache a brown mustache and then they will have you no know, like to do you know, like this. And and then they say, like, ah, it was so fast, you know, because it seems that when they are engaged doing something, it goes faster. Yeah. They don't see, you know, like I, I, I always you know like talk to teachers like a signal that your class is not, you know, like good enough for them. It's when they ask you, like, what time is it? Okay, because if they ask you, like, what time is it? They are worried about the time. They are not connected here, you know. They want things to go fast, right? So um, when, you know, like, things, uh, kids are doing things, and they're like, and then you say, okay, we have five minutes. And they say, like, only five minutes, but it has just started. It's a good, you know, like, uh, signal that, like, things are going well, that they are engaged, that they are, like, liking what you have been doing, right? So this is something that they usually, you know, like, uh, like doing and then they engage. 
use additional resources. Okay, here I brought some of the additional resources we have in this series that I'm sharing with you, right? They have quizzes like um, who wants to be a millionaire? Okay, and with questions and then they answer. And they also have for each, you know, like unit, they have like a board game that they can play online, but it also comes on a paper version on their book. So they take, they can play at home or they can play with friends. Okay, so make use of them, make use of the stickers you have, of prompts, of cutting like the cutouts that you have in your book. Okay, make them, you know, like a really use because sometimes uh, you just feel like, Mm, it's too much you know like i don't have time but this is one of the most important parts you know like it's when you know like they're consolidating they're playing for fun they're engaging so don't let them out i brought here you know like, you're gonna listen to me singing now i will try to do it online i don't know if it's gonna work okay but like uh create songs with them okay uh use songs because uh, songs you know like it, like a very helpful way to memorize contents and things, okay? Uh, yesterday, I asked, we were working, I was working with my students on prepositions of place, and they are nine years old. And I asked them, you know, like, we are like in, on, under, next to, between, behind, okay? All those opposite across, okay? And then uh, I did some you know, like TPR, you know, like exercise uh, activities with them. And then I asked them to create a rap version, you know, like, okay, I'm going to break in you into different rooms, okay, in a small groups. And I want you to create a rap, okay, preposition rap. And then you know, like I started on YouTube and I found some as an example and I played them, okay, before they, uh, they were like broke into different rooms, okay? And it helped them a lot. After class, you know, I received some WhatsApp of them, you know, like, I can't stop singing this that song, you know? Like, it is sticking to my mind. And this is the idea that like songs is stick to your mind. And then like whenever, it's like, like a very simple you know, exam, uh, example is head, shoulders, knees and toes. Okay, how many times you have, you know, like taught the song and then when you ask them like, oh, what is it? You know, like, and they have to say had, for example, they go like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they sing the song on their minds to remind of a cap, right? So it helps a lot. Let me see, you know, don't laugh on me, right? It's not, I'm gonna, I'm not very tuned, but I'm gonna try to, I want to share this with you, okay? So I'm gonna try to share um, a song that is, I haven't created this song, but I use it a lot when I'm teaching shapes to them. And like this one, if you search on YouTube, you're gonna find many others, right? Can you see my whiteboard? Just type here. Don't laugh out loud. Someone's saying that you're like laughing. Okay, so I'm gonna start, right? Oh no, uh, wait, wait. It's too thick. Let me start again. So I want a thinner one. Just a minute. Let me get ready. Okay, there we go, right? One circle, two circles, one big circle. One circle, two circles, one big circle. One circle, two circles, one big circle. Double you, double you. E. <laughs> there you go, right? <laughs> okay, this is the, like the big shape song, okay? And um, like this one, you know, like you have lots of others. I just brought this one because I think it's pretty easy. And they get so amazed in the end, the end of the song that like with just two words and you know, all like they can like draw a pig and many of them say like i can't draw a pig okay but i'm gonna teach you a trick and a song and you're gonna learn it okay so try to do this you know like try to involve them in a way that they will be like really connected you know like and then i challenge them to create other animals to create other songs using like um other shapes right to make them you know, like interested into the topic. 
using like games lots of games okay here you know like the two we were studying like the the solar system and the planets okay and the two first ones here okay they are uh games that are ready to play on world wall the not the net Okay, and this solar system maker, it's from another side that I love, especially if you are in a, in a like bilingual okay, school in which you have to teach contents in English, okay, that is uh, Mr. Nussbaum, okay, I'm going to show you later, okay, I think it's in the next slide. Um, there are lots of, lots of games, okay, so here they create their own solar system, okay, with the number of planets they want okay with the rings they want with the color they want and like it's really really interesting it's this one okay mr nesman and uh you have lots but lots 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 like oh i want to teach my students about ice cream so they have presentations about about ice creams they like how uh, flavors work how you make flavors you no know, like, there are lots of things there are videos there are games there are, like it's it's for free and it's like you have like a huge number of resources there right oh i'm working on insects i was working on animals and you know, like so uh create an insect okay so I want ladybug's hat, and then I want a butterfly uh, wing, and then you make your own, you create, okay? It's really easy and really nice. Repetition. Repetition is very important when teaching young learners, okay? But how can we make repetition fun? we have to change this repetition okay it's a repetition but not a repetition as you guess what i'm talking about okay uh so here i was working on colors okay and warm colors cool colors okay shapes and rainbows okay how uh we make rainbows how like it happens and like uh what are you know, like the principles behind it and all the things right so if i want them okay to memorize the colors of the rainbow i'll have to make them use the colors of the rainbow so we do lots of things okay here let's create a rainbow out of words Okay, so we have, what is the first color? Red, and then you're gonna have like one of the rings in red, the other ring uh, like in orange, the other ring in yellow, okay? And so on and so forth, okay? So this is one day, one uh, way. The other day, okay, the project of these unit, okay, is creating their own rainbow, okay? My rainbow, out of the things that they like. So here we drew, you know, like, so if I could make a real uh, rainbow in the sky, okay, I would like the red to be made by strawberries and the, the orange to be made by jack-o'-lanterns and yellow to be made by rubber ducks, okay? So they create their own rainbows based on the things they like, okay? The other day, I will bring here, we were working on shapes and colors, right? So, I brought potatoes to class, we cut the potatoes into different shapes, and then we work on a stamped rainbow, okay, using the shapes that we have worked. So, it's repetition. Did they do exactly the same thing every day? No. But on the other hand, they did the same thing. They were working on the structures and the colors and the shapes over and over again. They like the detective of like drawing you know like the rainbow you can know, like the colors of the rainbow so like here you know like you can extend the activity and then they can create other you know like landscapes using words so first they have to draw it by pencil okay and then later they will fill it in you know like all you know like the drawing uh with words okay and then they can create 
like you can let them use their imagination. So here, you know, like it was supposed to be sky, 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 red, red. But I guess the kid got tired and then here just wrote sky. And that's all. Okay, then plane, 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 plane. So they're going to be using you know, like petals, 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 seeds, 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 seeds. I can see very well. Okay. And then, um, they are going to create their own, you know, like a landscape based on the words they know. Promote additional moments for fun in English. So if you are working on the rainbow, bring other moments for them, you know. So what you can do here, I brought some pictures of things that we have done in class, okay. Here you find the magic drawing, you know, the, the one that you do and then you like you put on like water or on a plate with water and then the color of the one that is on the back will transfer to the one that is white, okay, up it and then it's like magic, you know, like the rainbow appears on the one that was blank, right? Here you have like an experiment with alcohol, okay, and markers and paper, the same here, okay, because the, the colors travel from one to another sign. Here you had like a cake, okay, recipe uh, with, you know, like food coloring, and then we made like pancakes and we made the rainbows here. It was like really nice. And also promote things in which we usually don't consider when we plan the things that they love doing, okay, when they are not in class. Playing video games, Among Us, Minecraft, okay, anime. I, I always say like, I hate anime. Okay, but you can ask me whatever you want because I know a lot about it. And because if I teach kids, I need to know about it. Okay, so they were last year, they were all about this Among Us game. Okay, so I said, okay, I challenge you to teach me how to play. So in class, we had the whole class, okay, devoted to Among Us where they taught me how to play. And I turned into a really nice imposter, believe me or not, right? So consider what they have to tell you okay consider what they are telling you you know like bring it into your class make them interested in what you know like you were doing and show them you care you are there to listen to them you know like to make it fun okay to help them learn english and have nice moments right these were like all the slides that i wanted to to share with you I visit my examples on this series that is called I Wonder by Express Publishing. Okay. If you click, if you search like I Wonder Land, I Wonder the Land, okay, on Google, you're going to find the site for the series. So you can get some information there. If you want the slides, okay, there is this click here button. Okay. Just fill it in and then I will send you the slides soon. Okay. Thank you very much, okay, for joining me, okay, in this webinar. You'll find here my, okay, contact and my information, okay. You can, you know, like, contact me at any time you want. You have here my WhatsApp, okay. Thank you very much. Let me see if, if you have any questions, okay, you can just, you know, like, um, add your questions here to the chat and I'll be, you know, like, reading and addressing to yours. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. No questions? Okay. So thank you. Okay. And see you next time. Hope, you know, like, oh, what's my Insta? My Insta is, I'm going to chat here. It's Tati, double T, Tati, Canto, Tati, Canto, okay? I've just, you know, like, pasted it on the chat, okay? Double T, T-A-T-T-I, Canto. Thank you, okay? Um, see you next time, right? Bye.